What's up, folks? I am back in the chair. That means it is going to be a little bit of a vlog. Now, I'm making this vlog just be real quick in terms of giving you an idea of what the heck is going on with me, why is there no Bane in a Let's Play this afternoon, or why there wasn't one today, and there is a really good explanation for this one. It's just there's a lot going on in my world right now because today, after three years of busting my butt, of sleepless nights in the library, writing countless papers, and just overall just driving myself mad for who knows how long. I mean, if you guys remember when I was in my hiatus months, I was gone for like four months. I literally did nothing for four months on YouTube. I just didn't post anything. I was gone for that whole time. And there was a reason why. It's because I was working towards this moment. And that was, I finally got accepted into the Guild Hall and SMU and Plano. And I am going to be going there for a master's program. And I am so freaking excited. I literally have been working for this for the past 11 years of my life of trying to become my ultimate ambition of being a video game creator, director, having my own studio, having so many ideas literally bursting at the seams in my head, and just wanting to create and generate ideas and work with people and trying to make something great and try to evolve the medium and art form into something it could never have imagined before. Anyways, I just wanted to get this out to you, let you know what that's going on. Like, since today, since I got the email this morning that I was accepted, I have been on the phone all day calling my family, uh, calling up my apartment, um, the front op their, their front office, and calling up other apartments, calling up the Guild Hall itself, making appointments, trying to see when can I come up there tomorrow and see them and, make, and just make myself familiar with the campus, go to new apartments, get a new layout for the place. So I will be moving out of my current place right now in Dallas and going into a new area up in Plano. So I'm going to be scouting out around there for uh, new apartments. And I'll let you guys know uh, when that is going to happen so that way that way, I'll have a little stream of videos coming out, a little trickling out of videos while I am busy moving all of my stuff because there's a lot of it. I mean, I gotta move all my collections, I gotta send some back home, I gotta move everything, get some new bedding, new uh, location for my green screen, just everything has to be moved. And so it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of freaking tubs, packing tape, and bubble wrap. Oh, that's going to be real fun to get hold of. Anyways, I just want to let you guys know about this. Um, since I have been basically on cloud nine all day due to the fact that this news, I guess I felt like doing something a little bit special, I should say. I have no idea what it is that I should do because I'm literally just running a, like a million miles an hour in terms of what I could do something special but so I figured the best thing I could do is let you guys decide what I should do to kind of celebrate this whether it's like whatever it is you want to know about me like uh, I don't know I've seen some people do something like a 50 random facts video or something like that or a too much information stuff like that like a too much information tag and um, just getting an idea of what I could do just to celebrate this, because I know I just did my 100th episode on Cowboy Bebop, which apparently was very well received, and I thank you all for watching that. Um, oh, before I forget, I wanted to show you guys a couple things I got also from my anime collection as well. Uh, Red Data Girl, I have absolutely no idea what this is about, but I figured, well, it's, uh, Kodokawa, I think it's, wait, who is it again? It's, uh, Kodokawa? Yeah, so I figured if this is at least going to get a, um, uh, HD Masters release, hopefully. Maybe this will be like a Dead Man Wonderland scenario where it, you, if you get the DVD, if it bought enough, maybe it'll come out on an Anime Classics line on Blu-ray. So I mostly just picked it up for that reason alone. But I did get an autographed sleeve for it. Uh, another one I got while I was at the con a couple weeks ago is uh, Data Live. Again, know nothing about this, but I figured yeah, it could be potentially fun. Um, another one, I got this off of... Um, if you guys remember, there was a Right Stuff sale a while ago about... Uh, I think it was uh, Nozumi and uh, the right, like their right stuff division or something like that. Of uh, they do a lot of like like classic series or vintage releases on DVD, and they did. Uh, I had a Sound of the Sky. This is the limited edition. They actually had five of these left on right stuff. So I figured I might as well just go and pick this up while I still could. 
And uh, this is another one, and while it's not a classic, well, it is a classic technically because it's part of the brand, but uh, Ergo Proxy, I mean, I'm a sucker for Cyberpunk, and this is one I've been wanting to look at for a while. I've wanted to get a hold of the Blu-rays, but that's going to take a while because it's really expensive. Also, I did find out about the um, another anime that a lot of people have been telling me to take a look at is The Big O, and I did find a Blu-ray set for that. It does have English audio, so I'm probably going to try and look for that a little bit, try to hunt it down, get it for a good price. But, and I know there's one particular viewer, uh, Klonoa, if I remember correctly, that wanted me to take a look at this series, and he's going to be very happy about this, All of Rose of Versailles. Yes, I finally got a hold of it, and I'm going to watch it, and I know some people have been concerned that I'm just going to be primarily an anime channel. The thing is, it's kind of been a dry spell in terms of games, and I really do want to talk about games, but there's just, again, not been a whole lot of releases that have been going around. I think about, I'm thinking about doing Entwined at the moment, which is a PS3, uh, no, a PS4 downloadable game. Um, so I thought about doing that since it is a little bit later after it's released, and I thought, eh, there's really not much point, but I figured it might be fun. Anyways, I just wanted to get this video out to you guys, get you let you guys know uh, what's going on with me, how everything is going, and um, I will get to the Bayonetta Let's Play soon. I'm going to be busy uh, pretty much tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning and afternoon and night, so I'll be uh, yeah, I'll be pretty much all busy all day tomorrow, and then on um, Friday, I don't think I should have anything immediate that I need to take care of in terms of like moving everything. I just need to call up uh, moving vans and stuff like that and uh, get a hold of all the containers and such. But yeah, just let you guys know about that. If I can, I will try to have part episode five on uh, Friday. And then I will have um, episode six on Saturday, like I should normally plan, just to let you guys know what's going on. And I hope you guys enjoy those episodes when they do come out. So yeah, guys, just comment below. Tell me whatever suggestions you want me to do to kind of celebrate this. My just, I, I don't know. I'm just so excited for this fact that I have worked 11 years to get into Guildhall. And now I'm just like, I want to do something. I want to do something fun and just do something that you guys would like me to do in terms of something you may want to know about me, whether you want to know my opinions about something or a new idea for a video series that I could do. Just comment below, tell me what you think. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later.